friends and welcome back to another cook with me video tonight we're going to be doing clam chowder it is such a delicious and cozy recipe it's actually a uh, copycat red lobster clam chowder recipe all right so the first thing that we need are some potatoes um, you need two cups of potatoes it calls for russet potatoes cut into um, one half inch cubes i'm taking a shortcut by just using hash browns they scan as the same point on your app so this is going to be about five points for these potatoes um, you also need half a cup of butter or one stick of butter you need 16 ounces of half and half cream you need a teaspoon of uh, table salt I'm just using sea salt here you need um, you know a bunch of scallions if you buy them like in a bunch at the grocery store but then you want to cut off the white part the white part is what we're going to actually be using we're gonna to need to cut the roots off of there and just chop them very finely so we need two tablespoons altogether of the diced green onions the white part only so that's what we'll be doing first um, we also need half a cup of whole milk now you could probably modify the recipe and lower the points by changing the milk that you use if you use like 2% or skim milk or potentially if you went instead of using half and half maybe you just did um, only milk but um, trust me when I say it's really good like this um, we also need a fourth of a cup of flour we need a third of a cup of the bottled clam juice and you can get this in the same area in your grocery store where you have the clams uh, the canned clams so we need two of these cans of minced clams I'm gonna get started by finely chopping the white part of these green onions Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. All right, once with the potatoes that I'm using, you really don't have to cook them. You just need to thaw them. So they are already ready to go. So I'm going to melt our stick of butter. I'm gonna do this over medium heat. Okay, we also want to go ahead and cook our onions. So I'm going to put this in here with the butter. You want to cook the onions until they start to become fragrant and they get a little bit translucent. So it's not very long, just maybe a couple of minutes. Once it gets bubbly like this, we want to go ahead and start adding in our flour. So we're doing this to create a roux to help thicken up our clam chowder. And this is a little bit easier if you use a whisk, so switch to a whisk. Once you've got that ready, then you can go ahead and slowly add in your half and half. And just keep stirring it with your whisk. Once we have our half and half in here, we can go ahead and add everything else. So we're going to add in our two cans of clams and you want to make sure that you add the juice as well. Okay. 
We will add in our milk. We're gonna add in a third of a cup of bottled clam juice. Stir this up a little bit before I add in my potatoes and my salt. All right, the recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt. I usually use half a teaspoon. We're gonna add it in our potatoes. Okay, at this point, we just need to let it come to a boil and then simmer for about 15 minutes. Then it'll be ready. All right, our clam chowder is done. Once it has um, simmered for 15 minutes, you see it thickens up like that, and you will know that it's done when you are able to stick in a spoon and you see that it, it coats the spoon. You'll know that it's done. All right, our soup is done. Thick, it's thickened up and it is ready to go. We usually have it with the red lobster um, biscuits that you can buy in the box. We could also make this a little bit healthier and add a salad. All right, friends, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like. It helps my channel a lot. Let me know if you try the recipe, if you liked it, and we will see you next time. Bye.